Guess what we got? I'm going to say, based upon the size, we got a humidor. It is. Look at that. Cigar humidor. Uh, this is another need one um, that they sent me to review. So uh, we are going to, it says no knife, but guess what? I don't, you know, I don't think I want to get into it without a knife. We're, we're in Texas. When do we not have a knife? Right, right, right. You know, so uh, the guy, uh, Chan up uh, with need one is, uh, I did his review of um, the big 48L, if you guys watch that. If you haven't, you know, go check out the channel. If, if you haven't, you need to, and, and, I, and I watched it, and just seeing the quality on the 48L, I'm excited about to see what we're what we're gonna what we're gonna see here. Yeah, too. I because I thought they were just um, electronic uh, thermoelectric humidors. I thought that's all they had. But here he 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 he's sent me a a little tabletop. You know, and, and tabletops and desktops humidors, those are like pride pieces. Mm. You know, those are like your pride pieces. You know, like when you've got your brothers or sisters coming by and they see that desktop, that beautiful piece of craftsmanship that you're proud, you know, you're proud to show and display some of your cigars in there. So I'm excited about what we're going to have here. So we've got a lid there. Oh, this is different. This is definitely different. We're going to toss that over there. Okay. Take that out. What? That is interesting. I like that. So it's got an, a nice, oh, look at that. So, so it's, it's got a finger hold. Yeah. And and it's got its own it's got its own legs as opposed to a a shelf. So we're looking at here. That it yeah. would sit on. So we've got a nice empty box inside there. Okay. We've got a, a, a it's got a hygrometer that is a analog. Yeah. Um, I'd like to see a digital. Uh, we could probably pop that out and put a digital one in there. Uh, or if you just want to put one inside the box, which is what I would normally do because. From the aesthetics standpoint, this looks beautiful, but just from a, a cigar aficionado like we are, mm. personally, I always have a digital one in there because yeah. that way I can make sure that it's calibrated to what it is I'm looking for. Yeah, exactly. So they've got, um, this comes with a couple of, it looks like a divider. So I like this. I, I do really too. like this. I do too. That is nice to go. I can actually put my humidification device under there, or there that's enough room for cigars underneath there. Well, you, you know, it it is. I mean, I wouldn't go with I wouldn't a box probably, press will fit under there. A box press, I would probably stay, you know, like a 54 gauge and under mm -hmm. underneath there. I probably wouldn't go for the 60 gauge or the 70 gauge underneath yeah. there, but he's got a humidification device in there. Um, it's probably got a glyc glycol the that gel stuff in there right right and so you're going to mount this probably underneath this part here maybe can can you mount it on the so this no, you is, really don't have enough depth on it on the yeah. lid this is glass you this obviously i haven't peeled this off but this is glass in here it says please remove protective paper so this is see-through plexiglass here you got okay. a, you got a nice you got a nice yeah, edge so around that that's what i always want to see is it's got a nice finger hold right there on both sides so you can pull this up uh, which is nice but how does that so it, look at this too it's got a little arrow here okay and another arrow here okay so that so you can it, line it up so so that's the side that is made to go there so i would like I would say, I would like to see a little bit better seal than that. Okay, that's a that's a decent seal, but um, really with humidors, you don't want it airtight. No, and, and that's a misconception with 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 uh, humidors that a lot of people don't don't get. You want a nice seal, but you don't want a hundred percent airtight because otherwise the air is going to get stagnant within. So I can yeah, I can feel. 
when I set that down, I can feel the air pocket hit and kind of stop it a little bit, like a pi air pillow. So I can feel that. Uh, if we were to peel this, um, I don't have fingernails. Oh, there you go. So we've got, we're going to peel this off. And that's what you would do with the other side. And so you're going to be able to see your cigars on the inside mm -hmm. and see what you've got. So there we go. Just that easy of peeling it off. I like it. It comes off in one piece. And and what I'm, what I'm seeing with this on this glass top that you don't always see in glass tops is where you've got a nice, you've got a nice edging around it on both sides of the glass. So it's not the glass edge that's being exposed. And that's what, where a lot of times we have problems with our glass tops is that that glass edge will be exposed and it's just the silicone that's around it. Mm, okay. And so you'll get a lot of leakage as that silicone wears out. Yeah, it's a nice clean little humidor. Um, this looks like about, about what about, I'm gonna say probably about a, a 35, 40 count. I would think, you know, with the few that I could fit underneath if I wanted to, that's definitely, so what that's doing, I think, what that's doing is, it, say you just put your cigars on top. Yeah. That is allowing for air. Which is so important. And and if a and little bit of a humidor trick, if you don't have the, the ability for your air, for the air to circulate, then it makes it even more important for you to rotate your cigars. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Air, air circulation is key. But yeah, and if you don't, then you've got to rotate them. But if you have sufficient airflow, really, you don't need to rotate your cigars. No, you don't, because because you're getting the air circulation around it. The thing that I'm loving most about this one, honestly, is the natural wood. Yeah. You're getting to see the beautiful light grains of the cedar, and it's 100% Spanish cedar yeah, all is. the way throughout yeah. it. And so you're getting to see that that aesthetics and that texture of it. So that, that divider, good thick divider too, fits right in there. Ooh, that is nice. And it's, it's solid. Firm. Yeah. It's got little uh, white rubber ends on the side, uh, ends of it there. We put that in there and that's, that's going to keep it definitely very, I mean, it, it's a very clean looking little, little humidor for somebody that's just starting out, uh, in cigars and you want to get a, a nice little humidor. This definitely looks like it would do the trick. I'm almost wondering if it comes pre-seasoned because, mm. because look, look at that humidity on there. We're running it's right, 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 at 69. Set, right at 69, 70%. So that's almost like, okay, has this been pre-seasoned? I don't know. Yeah, that's a good question. Um, I, I've had it in my house for just uh, less than a week, um, but I would wipe it down oh, just to get the yes. dust off of it. I, I, I'd still wipe it down always with distilled water. Yeah. I, I would still wipe it down and I would still put my own hydrometer in there yeah. and, and calibrate it to, to what it is the way that I keep my cigars. Yeah. And this is nice. If you want to do this, I would just toss a Bovita pack in there. That's it's all so much do. easier if you yeah. just do. Yeah. Because this one, they, they send you this. This is great. Uh, you're going to be able to draw up your, your distilled water and shoot it into there, wet it down. Great. Okay. If you don't have boba packs this will definitely work but you're going to have to look at this and wonder okay is it dry or not okay so i understand why he's he sent these with it and that's great but toss a boba pack in there and then you don't even have to think about it and i, I know this isn't the regular texas cigar road show but here's a tip for you mm -hmm. when you have desktop humidors when you have wooden humidors such as this mm -hmm. you always want to keep them at your 65 to 70% full right. on that. You don't want to have just, you know, five or 10 cigars right. in here because the cigars play in that humidification yeah. of it. Because then the box is gonna start drawing from your cigars. Absolutely, and your, and your cigars will be dried out even though the humidification says it's right at that 67, 69%. Exactly. All right, well, that's a review of the Need One Desktop Humidor. And uh, special thanks to uh, Dave with uh, Leaf and Grain Society. Always appreciate you giving some input, brother. And uh, you guys, if you're, you go out there, you can find these on Amazon. Uh, we'll put a link in the description below where you can find that uh, with all the uh, information that you need to know about this. But uh, this is the Need One Desktop Humidor.